Okay guys, as the title says, this is going to be a comparison of boot times of Windows 7 versus Windows 8. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do this because I haven't installed Windows 8 on this. What this portion of the video, the beginning portion, is going to be about is, is the laptop here is going to boot from Windows 7. I'm going to, I guess, speed it up in the video and give you a um, time, of uh, just a big time printout on the screen. So you'll see how long from button press until, oh, I guess I'm going to do button press and from past BIOS. So it gets more accurate, I guess, because the BIOS can always flash different speeds. But anyways, it's going to be from button press time until it starts fully up. Or to when all the programs load. But I'm going to start right now. We're going to press the power button. There, it flashes pretty quickly past. It always seems laptops always faster than desktops to go past the BIOS. But for whatever reason. In this case, well, I guess not. <laughs> but, um, before I speed up the video, or I might not speed it up at all actually, uh, this computer has a hybrid drive, the Seagate 500 gigabyte hybrid drive in it, so it's not just a normal hard drive, unfortunately. It kind of affects the test, I mean, the hard drive you can say is equivalent about of a Velociraptor maybe, a desktop, I guess. Uh, but the hybrid, the hybrid portion, the SSD portion of this drive really helps some boot times versus a standard mechanical drive. I mean, it's not fast, super fast, but as you can see, it's not super slow either. So it gets to that, and however time the time will be posted up, show you how fast of each time, and see I have. I'm also going to show you down here, which is what I was trying to explain before. In the bottom left corner, right there, is the program called Saluto, and it shows me the programs I have running right now. It'll show me how long it takes to boot up all my normal startup programs and everything right here. Everything to get up, I have. Saluto, if you don't know what it is, is a really good program. It you can delay applications like you know you want application start up, but you don't know you don't need it for like another like 15, 30 minutes or more after you start up your computer. You can click delay with Saluto, and it will start them up those apps up eventually, just not right away. So you can get to your most used applications first, which is very useful and it does work. So this is one minute and eight seconds boot time to Saluto. That's what it says right there. So according to Saluto, once that's done it's pretty much fully booted and you can do whatever you want like normal. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be upgrading this tomorrow and I'm going to just cut through and after this whenever I do you'll obviously know. And I'll have Windows 8 unless something goes wrong with it. Uh, hopefully not. But I'm going to get Windows 8 installed on this tomorrow and I'll skip on to that now. Okay, I now have Windows 8 installed. Uh, I had no issues and everything else. And I'm just going to turn it on and show you the times afterwards and see on the same hard drive do you actually get a faster boot time with Windows 8. Like I was saying before for the BIOS, I guess I felt like my laptop was fast, but I guess not. I think it's about 20 seconds to get past the BIOS from button press or something like that. I mean, it's Windows 8 always seems fast on any computer I've ever used. And that seemed faster. I'm gonna go just to desktop. I'm not sure if Saluto is going to pop up on this or not. The thing with Windows 8, I've, the only thing I've really noticed, like when you start it up or you go to sleep, sleeps faster for sure, and stuff like that, is uh, it's the wireless like won't connect right away for some reason or won't connect at all. Like it could be just it interacting with my school's network, but um, doesn't seem to want to connect right away even though it hasn't. I have to like put in authentication.
Well, you see a little check mark right in the bottom here. That's when you know everything's done. Yeah, there it is. Started making a check mark. That means the boot's done. And they did come up with a little thing in the corner, but I'll show you like a little bit around Saluto, and I will have the times posted. I'll do that all for you. And like I said, view PC, and it's pr pretty cool because you free accounts can have about the five PCs. I'll probably make a separate video on this one day. But I have my acrylic, the one, and my laptop. I don't a lot of computer I just reinstalled like a couple weeks before this one, so it doesn't have it on there yet. But yeah, you can drop it down. It has apps you might need updated or might want to get a, like a ton. Everything makes it real simple. It has um these. This is what I use to increase boot time. It says it takes one minute, sixty seconds. The desktop response is about 59 seconds to boot, and before it was a minute and eight seconds. So it decreased the boot time, like 10 seconds, which is negligible, I guess. I I guess it matters more. I think once you get to the desktop, it does respond quicker. Like if once you get to this, like if I were to click on this, it would load much quicker than if I like were to get to the desktop of Windows 7 and load something like that. But yeah, you can go like removable apps. That's like the only one I can remove. I'm not sure if I even want to remove that. So it shows you like what time you could save. I've saved apparently a minute and 52 seconds off my boot time, which probably not quite that much, but it's a considerable amount quicker than if I had all all this extra stuff running. Like I have some of it just stops and I have like all this stuff right here delayed. This guy supposed to be delayed, even though that glitched. And it's like after runner, Prince Spooler, and, and the NVIDIA driver helper, power DV stuff, Logitech webcam software, stuff I want to start up, but like not right away, because I don't really ever use it that often. Even though this I do, so I want that to start up. <laughs> and you can just click return to boot, and it should return it. Something like that. Just close out, saves it. There's a whole bunch of cool stuff with that, I'm like a video separate someday. But yeah, it seems like Windows 8's faster. I'll, like I said, post have the numbers posted off to the side or something in this area if it's not already there. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions about what I've done, hopefully this is a more fair test than my last boot time comparison between a regular hard drive and SSD, in your opinion. But yeah, if you have any questions, please comment below.